Hey boys, time none. Today, making a video about Headhunter. And if you don't know what Headhunter is, it's a mission the CEOs can launch in GTA Online um, from their from their start menu here. So I'm gonna register as a secure service associate or a secure serve CEO. Okay, so I'm now the CEO. I'm gonna hop in my Hydra here. And I'm going to show you guys something that you probably don't know about Headhunter. So, depending on where you are on the map, is where your Headhunter mission will start. And I'm, I'm assuming most people know that it like starts in the city, or that there's targets in the city. Because I feel like everyone probably does it in the city, right? But, if you go up to Polito Bay, or if you go to Sandy Shores... The targets will spawn in different locations, and generally, the locations that they spawn in are much easier to kill them. Which means you can do Headhunter faster and get your money faster. So, I'm going to fly out to Sandy Shores right now. And then I'm going to begin the mission. And I'm going to show you guys where they spawn at, and see how fast I can do it. So, uh, once we get closer to the lake a little bit, I'm going to start the mission. And I'm going to show you guys just how fast you can do this once the, once the targets are in a location that's a little easier. This is going to help with the efficiency of you guys doing Headhunter, I think, a lot. Assuming that you have a Hydra or at least an aerial vehicle of some sort. So, I'm going to start Headhunter right now. As you can see, there's a target here. Target up in Polito Bay. Target here. And there's a target driving down the road. So, we're going to go for this guy over here first. He's going to spawn inside this little train shed, and he seems hard to kill at first, but once you figure it out, it's uh, it's not that hard anymore, so. I'm going to put the Hydra into hover mode when I get a little closer here. There we go. Make sure that I don't hit any of these big uh, telephone wires or anything. And then you see that little shed right right there? He's He'll be inside here. So, um, I'm going to move over a little bit to the side. And you just want to get your gun aimed straight down in the back there. There you go. See, I got him. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the next one. All you have to kill is the target. You don't have to kill his goons. If you didn't know that, um, now you know. Just kill the targets. That's all that matters. Okay, so now, like I said, we're going to go to the guy in Polito Bay. And he should be a really easy target because he's in a car. So if if you guys have a Hydra or a Savage, I'd highly recommend using the cannon. Um, it's going to be a lot faster to kill everything. Um, and the missiles aren't always super reliable. A lot of the time the missiles will like lock on and they'll shoot after him. But if you're not at the right angle yourself, uh, the missiles are going to have a really hard time hitting your target. So... I prefer to just use the cannons myself, but hey, you guys do whatever you want. I'm just here to try and give you some suggestions, so. I think I can see... Okay, they're down here. So as you can see, a little bit of cannon fire there. He's down already. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next one. He's going to be by Devin Weston's house, I believe. Yeah, right over here. Okay, he's actually heading right back in towards the city, so... We're going to go for this target first. He's at the, uh, it's, it's like a farm. And he'll be at the back side of the house from where I'm at now. So he's going to be on the other side of it from me. Super easy once you, uh, once you get the hang of it. It's only been not even three minutes yet. And I'm almost done the mission, so. Pretty good efficiency, I'd say. And I also started it when I was pretty far away from the initial, uh, target, so. Yeah, you can get it done really fast, and if you have a friend helping you, it will go, like, so fast. Like, I believe me and one of my friend's records for doing Headhunter is, like, under two minutes. I think it's a minute 52 seconds we've completed the mission in, so. And as you can see in a second here, you have to come in at the right angle, because the guy is pretty low down in there. So. A bit out of practice at this point, <laughs> not to make excuses, but he is going to be on the back side of that house. Uh, okay. No. 
almost see in there. There we go. Okay. Now on to the final target. He's just going to be over here. I think he might be on the highway. And of course, you can do this a lot faster than I'm doing it. I haven't done Headhunter for probably six months, I want to say. So, I'm a bit out of practice at it, boys, to be completely honest with you. There we go. And as you can see, I get paid $21,500 for it. I'm also in a private session by myself, by the way. So, if you want to do Headhunter without having people coming and guarding your targets, go into a private session. Go into a private crew session or a private friend session. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you right now. Press your escape button or your start menu. Go to online. Uh, as long as you you have to be in story mode to do this. So you got to leave GTA online. And then you're going to want to go um, online session uh, or, or play online. And then it's going to give you the option to go invite only session, crew only session, friend, sen uh, friend session. So you're going to want to click the crew or the friend. And you can be in here by yourself and any of your friends can join you without issue. Uh, invite only sessions work too. They work better on console though. On PC they're not very great. So I'd, I'd recommend if you're on PC do a crew or a friend session. Uh, I think it's a little easier for your friends to get in. So. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope I hope you learned something with this. Um, again, if you go up to Polito Bay, the targets will spawn in different locations there too. That are uh, honestly, honestly, starting off in Polito Bay, I think is the absolute easiest. Um, generally, a uh, target will spawn right here on the map, and another one will be driving like we saw there. Uh, sometimes you'll get the guy who we just killed right here, and then usually there'll be a guy at uh, at Weed. So. Uh, that's that's pretty much it guys or there'll be a guy uh, right around here somewhere so anyway I hope you learned something guys I hope this was a helpful video I I don't know it's it might not be uh, but if you learned something that's good and that's that's what I wanted so anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed the video take care maybe see you in the next one peace